Hey everyone, it's Lisa here from How to Zazzle. Um, today I'm just going to do some basic tutorials. I know I've done a lot on my AI site lately. Today I'm just going to get down to basics on how to add your art to different products. Um, so this video will be good for like newer Zazzlers. It might be boring for people who already know how to do all this stuff. Just a warning. So anyway, now that I got that drawing done, that's a time lapse of a drawing I did of kids fishing when I was camping last week and I took some pictures and drew some on my Procreate um, tablet so I made this time lapse video with the um, Procreate app. I'll put the link to that down below. Um, one of the nice things about Zazzle is that like other, I love like Tee Public and Redbubble and all those but it seems like a lot of those are like the print on demand sites have like um like the vector art, I don't know how else to put it, but like if you're like an artist and want to sell some of your own work, Zazzle is really good for that because they have canvases and metal art and acrylic um, canvases and everything. And you can also use it on cards and everything. So I'm just going to make a couple products just to give you guys some ideas of what you can put your art on if you want to sell it. So I'm going to go here to create... view all okay first I'm going to click on canvas prints and it doesn't really matter which one you go to because it's going to size it for you anyway So click on customize this design. Then upload images. Then upload your artwork. So right here it'll you can maintain the size that you picked or um, it gives you a couple choices here. It will size it. I could have this be like five feet long, but of course I don't want it that long. For now, I'm just going to go to 10 by 8 and put it in there. And then I'm going to click on done and go to the sizes. And I think I'll do it a little, I'll do a 24 by 18 for this picture. And right here, you can pick portrait, landscape, square, you know, and look through all the choices. And you can even go to the bottom and customize it. Now, if you want to change one of these numbers, not the other, make sure to click this little thing here. Otherwise, it'll change both numbers. What I mean by that is, see, it's on 24, right? If I click 29, it's going to change them both. But if I click this little thing, then I can change it there, change each one separately. And you can also click the thickness of the frame. It, the standard is one and a half inches, but if you want it to be a little bit less than that, which I think I like a little bit less, you can click that or if you want it more. And down here you can also pick like the different, if you want it um, in panels instead of one whole art piece. For this, I'm just going to do one art piece. Okay, I'm going to go back into edit design. Click on fill, just make sure it's fitting as good as it can. And really that's all you have to do for a canvas. And then you can see the different views of it here. So then you just click sell it. So here you're gonna fill out the title. and then put in a description and make sure to use lots of keywords. All 
I'm not going to click on events or recipient because it can really be for anybody. And this is in my store drawn for you. Now here you can click on that and pick which store you want it to be in. A lot of people just have one store. I have a lot of stores. So, And then up here you click the category and I'm just going to put people, I think, for this. Okay, and then you put your tags. rated G so my my royalty percentage is at 10% you can put it whatever you want so if this painting sells for 133 I'll get 1330 for it then you click on I have the right to publish and post it and as simple as that now you can sell your art your art will be in your store so just don't forget to go up here Click on that and then you can share it on all your social media platforms. Okay, now Zazzle isn't the same as other print on demands where you just upload your picture once, put in a description, and it will show the customer it on several different products. You have to actually put it on all the different products yourself. So how you do that is you go down here and you click transfer design to a product. And it's gonna give you a bunch of choices here. Or you can click on view all products. Right here it says poster, so we'll click on poster. And it's gonna pretty much resize it to the to something that fits. Again, I don't want it this big. I don't think anybody will buy one that big. So I'm gonna change it to, um, I'm going to put it on a 30 by 20. And then I always click on edit just to look at it and make sure it looks okay. I think I'm going to make it a 30 by 24. There we go. That fits it a little bit better. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to click on sell it again. And now all this information is going to be filled in for you from the last one, which is really nice. You can change the um, department so it goes into the right department. And Google likes it if you change a little bit of the words. Um, I don't always do it, but it's good to change it up a little bit. You can add, you know, fishing poster or whatever. Just change it up a little bit. And again, all this stuff is already going to be in there for you. And then you, and here's your royalties, and then you just click I have the right to publish it. And that's how you can quickly add it to a bunch of products. Not as fast as other websites, but this is, Zazzle didn't want all the spamming on where you upload one image and it looks good on half of the things, you know, half of the products, it's like in the wrong area or it doesn't fit it right. So that's why Zazzle did that. So again, if you want to transfer it, you go down here again. And it gives you these choices like metal art. And I've gotten some of the metal art and it looks really cool. So you add it on there. Some of them are going to fit it to the right size, some won't. So you might have to go in here to the size and mess around with that. Make sure it's fitted fits correctly click done and sell it and again everything's going to be here you can change out a couple words if you want change out the, the department add a couple different words so it's not exactly the same um, in google and then go down here and you could adjust any keywords or whatever and that's how you just create a bunch of them really fast. 
So I hope that helps you. Um, you can add your artwork onto so many different items. I'll post a couple pictures of different items I put this on. And if you have any questions, just post them below. And have fun with it. I hope you sell lots of your art. Bye-bye.